he's sitting a little low. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Flat Thunder channel. My name's Andy, and this is the Flat Thunder Truck, the channel icon. We have an engine and a transmission with a transfer case in the back of the truck. We're lot moving it around here on the property. And with it on the bed of the truck, she's sitting pretty low in the back. Um, I'm guessing the engine is approximately 500 pounds and the engine and transmission, uh, I don't know, ballpark it, I don't know, 400 pounds-ish. So we're looking at about 1,000 pounds, maybe more than that because she does look like she's squatting a little bit more than she did when we made a previous run to the scrapyard. Um, but we need to fix that. Uh, it shouldn't squat this much. We have some old air shocks underneath there, and they're just bagged out. Uh, the airbag in them has blown many moons ago, and we got some on there. So we're going to put some new air shocks on this, try to raise up the back for when we're hauling heavy loads. Stick with us. I'll show you what we're going to get into and what it involves. It's not too hateful, but she does look like she's sagging a little bit more than she should. AOD, the transfer case for a four-wheel drive. We have a condenser coil and a complete 351 Windsor engine with fuel injection. So I'm guessing this weighs about 500 pounds plus and the transmission approximately 300 pounds plus a transfer case 150 to 200 pounds maybe. So I don't know maybe a thousand pounds total here. Here's our new air shocks part number 729761 made in USA right on airbag chamber in here and you can adjust the amount of force that these shots shocks exert by adjusting the pressure they look a little bad and that's 100% my fault they don't come looking like this um, I had them stored on a shelf uh, in the garage and a battery exploded and leaked battery acid on it so the battery acid definitely peeled the paint off we're gonna touch this up after we get them installed in the truck the air shocks come with a new hose kit. In this hose kit, you have all the lines and fittings necessary to plumb this in. In the kit, it comes with a T. That way you can splice in and have one fill port for both rear shocks. This will make both rear, rear shocks at the same pressure. So you can't independently adjust the pressure. You can only uh, put the same amount of pressure on each side. Uh, in the future, I'm going to switch to an onboard air compressor system that will let me to regulate the left side and the right side independently. So if we can reuse all the old plastic hose lines that are on there for the old shocks, we're going to do that and then we'll upgrade in the future. All right, here's our old shocks. So we need to obviously unbolt that set up on top. Take this bullet out at the bottom, and then we'll be ready to swap this guy out. Other side, same story. You can see how the uh, arm is sticking out of the top of the shell. This shock's basically spent because uh, the airbag inside is deteriorated and not good anymore. Got both top nuts off. Need a little rust in the process. I got to get these uh, bottom bolts loose. Get those pounded out. When you're doing this, you want to make sure the this shock isn't supporting the vehicle um, before you pull it off. We'll see, but when we get there, uh, if this shock is actually supporting the load on the truck bed, because these shocks can uh, supply some force to lift this upward. You don't want to go taking this all out and have it fall down on you. I mean, the springs are holding it, but these uh, shocks can hold it up quite a bit. Onto the bottom bolts. We had to put a cheater wrench on there, let this wrench roll around, hit the axle, take your other wrench, hook it on the end of this one for leverage. Alright, 
and here if you can see this is a definitely easy way to tell if there's any load on this i'm just pushing on this bolt and if there was any load in there there's definitely no way that would come out now normally these are rusted solid in the sleeves but i put this in many moons ago and when i did i greased the shoulder of the bolt look at that usually you're usually it's stuck inside or rusted inside this sleeve but greasing that definitely helped so this is the old airline and it's obviously busted here well disintegrated into nothing so i just pulled the hose out there's o-rings in there question well if we're going to be able to use that or not we'll be able to try top bolts off let's do is wiggle it off of here looks like i might even got fancy and put never seize on it holy cannoli now you can hear the water splashing around it's like this thing's full of water one side down Ta-da! This is a brand new full can and I can't hardly get just a little bit out. So I'm sure people are going to say, why are you putting so much on there? Well, largely because I uh, can't hardly get the brush out of the can without a whole bunch because it's a brand new can. And also, if you're going to lube it up, lube it up good, right? Slider on. Oh, nice. Put my top nut or top washer and nut back on. Just get it started. Now I can't pull it down far enough to get the bottom bolt started, so I'm gonna put a punch in here and pull on it. Ugh. Our new lubed up bolt, brand new bolt. A little longer than what we needed, but it'll uh, work all right. All right, let's tighten this side up and she is good to go. Okay. That's good. All right. That is good. All I need to do now is uh, fix our airlines up. All right. This is our new kit, GB141099. Okay, so this end already has it on there. There's a two o-ring group here two o-rings can you see that i hope it's focusing you got two o-rings and then this wedge and when the nut goes down and tightens it tightens this wedge in it grabs a hold of the line and holds it in and basically the o-rings do the ceiling And you can kind of see the path the old line takes. Uh, I think the fuel tank was removed, so it uh, isn't routed the greatest. But basically, we're going to come off the port here in the back of the shock, give a little bit of a hoop, keep it away from the exhaust, keep away from the exhaust up here, go along uh, the frame there and out the back, and we'll tie it together in the back. All right, here's where things start to get weird. We got the Vaseline tub out again. I like to uh, lubricate the O-rings before we jam them in there. So I'm gonna separate them a little bit. Oop, too much. And uh, lubricate those O-rings up so they're nice and slippery. That way they don't get stuck in there and they don't get cut shove it in the port and tighten the nut doesn't have to be overly tight it's just plastic it's 
a finger tight probably more than good enough now this knot of hose has a memory from being rolled up but I'm going to slide off this in here don't lose your o-rings I'm going to slide this off along with the nut so I can route it easier and I lost one that's cute all right had to find that this is the old line obviously right here and uh, can almost mimic exactly which way that goes so here's the uh, old line this is the old T it looks like it uh, completely rotted and broke off at the trader valve there and then also it looks at one point in time that it was patched um, must have needed to use it in a hurry and I just patched, patched it that's really cute this is probably I don't know this might even be before I switched the truck frames on this truck so pre 2001 at any rate this stuff's shot all we got now is we got our new T assembly here this ends obviously the Schrader valve and then each line comes in from each side so you can find a central location you can easily access to fill this up back here under the passenger side taillight I believe we mounted the old one in this hole that way you can access it and it's not uh, that easy to break off because it's underneath we're on the underside now we got both hoses here and they need to basically go up in there put our nuts on the hose we're just going to take a guess at the length one o-ring two o-ring got our shader valve assembly here we're going to install one side on one side same way we did on the shocks might be sticking out a little bit too much finger tight kind of check the positioning here Okay. Still the other end on the other side. Okay. I'm going to try to weasel this up there without pinching our lines. Put it through that hole. Extra slack there. Now we'll put our nuts on the outside. Put a little placard slash washer on. Our nut. All right. Ah, oh, now Bob. Looks like we done overloaded the truck. Better pump up the air shot. all right those lines look a whole lot better she isn't ready to pop a wheelie things are looking good not that the, she was too hateful before but she was squatting pretty hard oh yeah those air shocks are awesome if you uh enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up leave all your questions and comments in that section below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, everyone. Out of here.